uh, dear audience uh, today i will be presenting my research article uh, which is a part of uh, icit 2025 conference in jordan zaitun university with the collaboration of ulster university and uh, btech so the topic of my presentation is ai and employee performance management process mining for enhancing productivity and the growth so so this a uh, project is a part of our one of the research collaboration with the uh, prince uh, mukran university so so in this presentation uh, i would like to uh, uh, tell that who are the sponsor for this one the sponsor uh, of this one is school of computing uh, ai research center ulster university so this uh, like our, our research center they are presenting uh, like you know different they have a phd opportunities and interdisciplinary mm -hmm. research they have like innovation in ai for sustainable future uh, they focus more on uh, uh, machine learning decision system and bioinformatics and they have collaboration with industry and government so why this research is important uh, because it's a rise of ai and strategic decision is very much important and for that one uh, that how we can inculcate AI in the in the st in strategic decision making, and um, along with that one, the digital transformation in the HR is also crucial, and we need to know that uh, how this could be inculcated, and the growing needs for the performance transparency is also. So these three are like you know the main important factor that why this research has been like uh, conducted. So according to the like introduction from different research article, we have seen that how the AI role is in human resource management. You can see that uh, employee management can be done uh, through like, you know, performance management, through the training and development and employee relationship. So in, in performance management, we need to do data mining, data analytics, while in training development, we have to do like, you know, voice interactions and visual scanning systems. Uh, while in employee relationship, we, we, we need like, you know, we can use uh, AI robots and voice recognition. So our aim of this uh, research is to assess AI impact on productivity, that how AI can like, you know, uh, impact the productivity of the human resource. And we can analyze in, uh, employee perceptions, uh, build predictive models for AI acceptance and how we can like, you know, build a predictive model for AI acceptance in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, uh, in a certain uh, organization and ecosystems. So for this one, you know, we uh, discussed like, you know, uh, different uh, literature reviews and uh, related to AI and performance management and uh, and certain like, you know, articles which is uh, related to like, especially article number 24 and 26 and 27, 28 and 40, 41 and 42. They were like, you know, very like closely related to our work. Like the first one, you can say, AI enable intelligent decision in HR by integrating machine learning, robotics, and data analytics. Second is most mostly about adoption of AI in HR system. Uh, HR 4.0 was discussed in in article 26 number in the paper. And then challenges of algorithmic biasness and and responsibility and transparency and insecurity was also discussed in 27 and 28. And then uh, in the last three uh, articles, like uh, it, ta it talks about more about the effective AI adoption depends on uh, ethical alignment about like GDPR or some act of uh, AI related to transparency and human collaboration. So this is little bit about the literature. So in this one, we use mixed methods like a quantitative method and qualitative method. So well, for quantitative method, we took responses of 44 participants from Prince Mogherin University and then um, after the ethical approval uh, from the from the institutions and then we had like uh, we also uh, took some some of the open-ended questions from the uh, from uh, from the, from these people uh, which we which we assessed according to the qualitative measurements to see the sentiment analysis using a, a python text blob uh, library and then Along with that one, we uh, we also tested this one through predictive analysis. We did some predictions using the random forest models. As you know, the random forest model is a, is advanced one of the decision trees. So where we use the voting majority for the different decision trees. Uh, framework for AI HR performance. The the framework which we which we proposed is uh, is to uh, enhance automation over there, and then we have like you know AI. 
machine learning and OCR robotics over there and uh, chatbot decision making systems could also be introduced over there and then efficiency responsiveness and personalization was a part of it so the proposed framework is this one you can see over here that different elements like you know uh, uh, with the HR because HR was simple thing before and uh, ATA system applicant tracking system was also introduced in certain countries to uh, with the keywords uh, from the database but um, but proper AI was not introduced so we try to inculcate the proper AI in different sectors and in sections we can say that uh, with the OCR technology with the perception and execution and with the interaction of uh, uh, with the human and chatbot and decision making so uh, there were certain research like you know research questions we had in AI, in AI performance and sample questions we there were more questions but I just like you know the most important question like how familiar are with the use of AI and performance management, AI has a major role in improving organizational productivity. And similarly, like you know, various questions were there, and these questions were like you know scaled from the different literature reviews, and some are adopted without any change, and some are adapted with the uh, with the few changes in in the in the text or in the rephrase. You can say. So, what were the results and uh, and the discussions on that? One? So, the results, like you know. Uh, were um, AI tools familiarity impact 75 percent of under 35 accepted that AI tools are very much important for, for that one and uh, there was a career alignment correlation which is 0 0.8 so 88 per 0 0.8 R was like you know 0 0.88 so it was like you know high correlation so we can see that uh, the correlation matrix of AI in performance management is like you know you can see it's more like you know uh, it's more explainable and you can see the the AI role in the productivity question you can see AI in monitoring AI reduced biasness AI challenges so you can see like all 17 different like you know questions for like you know uh, address and the uh, and the result has been like you know uh, shown in the confusion matrix with the with the uh, with the true positive and true negative uh, the second the the qualitative analysis has been done with the uh, uh, with the text blob and then you can see the sentiment analysis of AI feature enhances productivity and you can see the sentiment score is between minus one and plus one there was not like you know significant changes in that one you can see the results mostly like near the zero so in that case we could not get that much good results what did they feel about AI so meanwhile sentiments polarity was 0.42 was positive common descriptive was like you know efficient reliable and supportive so these are the results of our qualitative results um, key uh, predictors what drive drives AI acceptance so the crux which we got out of it was like you know training availability uh, is very much important uh, and um, out of these 17 which we also uh, like you know got an idea that AI transparency is important to, to make this adoptable in different organization. And the, the last but not the least is organization support, admin support and higher hierarchy support is important. Otherwise, this adoption would not be possible. So um, some certain question about AI ethics, like you, know, you can see about this uh, uh, box whisker uh, plotting. You can see over here that how this box whisker uh, plotting was done and uh, uh, people were aware of um, AI ethics, but like you know, with a certain um, age restriction, you can say like certain age, like people from 25 to 35 years old, they had like you know some more uh, know-how about the AI ethics, and uh, like there was little like about 18 to 25 years, and um, there was significant like you know um, results on the on the age of 35 to 45 years old as well. Mm, who's most concerned like you know younger individuals show higher ethics concerns you can see uh, like you know 18 to 35 uh, years one and uniform concern levels among youth and variety of uh, among the older staff as well so there was more uniform as I said earlier so what this means for HR means trust in uh, AI is essential uh, without trust the, the adoption of the AI in HR would not be possible Mm, ethical and transparency system is highly needed without this one without uh, like you know compliance with GDPR or uh, AI uh, um, like um, AI rules regulations which is 
UK is going for it uh, in 2026 to enforce that one. And they are, they are certain like, you know, uh, ISO has like, you know, 42001 standard, 42001 standard. Uh, they have a, also a good framework, which is called AIMS, AIMS, uh, Artificial Intelligence uh, Management System, which, which, is, which is looking for the risks and human AI collaboration is the future. So what is the summary of the findings? Uh, AI enhances uh, performance. Uh, ethical consideration must be addressed like GDPR, UKI 2023, um, and US Executive Order 2023, Indian AI Bill 2023, Chinese uh, Governor Act. So every country, they have their own act. Uh, some of the act might be becomes global in later stages, maybe after 2030. So this is my like prediction. but most probably like you know every country they have their own ai rules regulations so for transparency and biasness there should be less biasness in the decision and training uh, drives adoptions as well so where next so larger cross-section studies needed uh, instead of 44 people only long-term emotional impact of ai should be seen that how AI is impacting uh, how is it, how is it impacting on the human resource and productivity and human centric AI design. So if you have any question, you can ask in the comments. And uh, there were a lot of questions which has been asked in, in Jordan conference and uh, and like the audience, they really like it and they have like, you know, uh, and they wanted to work on this one. So if you want to work, just put a comment, we can work and on it and we can extend it. So thank you very much. See you, bye-bye.